Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the B7A2 Reasai. This is a currently rank 3 battle rating 3.7 naval aircraft torpedo bomber, do it all, whatever you want it to do, aircraft in the Japanese air tech tree. This is quite honestly one of my favorite planes in War Thunder because of how versatile it is, especially when it comes to air RB. Now you can equip this thing with, of course, an 800 kilogram bomb or you can give it a bunch of 200 or two 250 kilogram bombs a bunch of 60s you can give it a really good torpedo whatever you want you can do it also it gets an air spawn air rb so in this video i will be taking this thing through the gamut and hopefully kind of give you guys a smorgasbord of gameplay for you guys to hopefully sink your teeth into before the hamari 23 version comes out with battle pass which by the way once i do get my hands on that the hamari 23 version of the b7a2 i will be playing the heck out of it because it actually takes the engine horsepower i think from around 1831 as you can see here all the way up to 2000 so you get about a 10 percent increase in power which will be very nice now that being said let's get into a few matches first match i'll probably do some air rb and then kind of go from there see what we can do but this is gonna be a whole lot of fun especially with the air spawn and these 20 millimeter cannons can't go wrong with that that said let's get into it now, before we get into actual combat, let's just kind of go over some of the reasons why I love this thing, right? So, it's actually pretty quick. Again, it has an air spawn, and it has a bomb. Now, you might be wondering, of course, where's that bomb? And this thing somehow has a bomb bay that they fitted into it, which is just fantastic. Plus, you get air brakes with this thing, which are really, really cool. Plus, it actually has a pretty decent turning radius, considering what this thing is. So, it's got quite a bit going for it, right? Like, this thing is the ultimate versatile aircraft at and around this BR. And, it has a bomb site for you to be able to actually drop this thing like a regular bomber. So, in this match specifically, I will try to go after enemy aircraft. Hopefully, bombers. Hopefully, those aren't the only bombers. I was hoping for a slightly higher altitude enemies and i'll try to go after an airfield at, or uh you know a base as well but it looks like we might have a bomber there but that guy is climbing up pretty substantially so i'm not entirely sure so with that said let's get into the bomber site open up the bomb bay drop an 800 kilogram bomb on this bad boy and then go about our business like usual and this means of course there's no parasitic drag which is Fantastic. When you are a bomber and you don't have any parasitic drag, or really, if you're any sort of aircraft without parasitic drag, that is a good thing. So I do see someone on the radar kind of coming up right there. XP-50, of course, should have known better. You can just climb up a lot, turn down a little bit, make a head-on run against him, and then just dive down a bit. This guy is shooting early. Whenever they shoot early, most of the time, they don't want to commit to it. Got the kill. And let's turn down. Looks like they didn't really have much in the way of, uh, of an air force when it comes to bombers. But, did this guy already leave? He did not. Base damage. Look at that. Almost entirely destroyed. So, in about five seconds, I dropped a bomb, killed an enemy pilot, or an enemy plane. I'll just say plane, because that sounds a little bit less bad. And I got myself 758 points, about a half ton of of TNT dropped on the enemy. Again, this thing is incredibly versatile, and look how fast I'm going. So, quick fun fact about this aircraft, it was so large that hardly any aircraft carriers in the Japanese fleet could carry them, uh, except for the Shinano, which was destroyed by the Americans. I think, what was it, the Archerfish? Uh, it was destroyed by them. It was the largest ship ever sunk by a torpedo in history. So, yeah, like, one of the only planes, and it was sunk, like, ten days after it was commissioned, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. There's a famous picture of it, I think, from the Archerfish, before they sank it. And it was, uh, yeah, the, this was the aircraft, one of the only aircraft carriers that could actually have this thing. So, there were only, like, a hundred of these made as a consequence, and for the most part, they were on land. So, fun fact. Now, let's go down here. Now, one problem it does have is that you won't really be able to turn all too well with this. Now, I'm going to have to put my air brakes on. This is not smart, by the way, what I'm doing. Uh, uh, do I really want to go for this P-51? Typically, I always say, go for the end of the conga line. 
Ooh, I'm getting ugly here. Go for the end of the conga line is what I always say because you don't ever want to have somebody behind you when once you swoop in. Especially in an aircraft like this that is so incredibly, um, you know, easy to set on fire. Hopefully he doesn't come around and get me. But that should hopefully be a kill. Uh, but now I can get on the end of the conga line here. I still have about half my fuel. Got four kills, base drop, bomb drop, so I'm doing pretty decently. Uh, start firing now. Got a crit on him. Again, these are some nasty 20 mils. Um, do not want to go after him now. Put on my air brake a touch. Go for this P-51. But there you go. That is the versatility and the overall... I'll probably just get an assist there. But the overall just agility of this aircraft is phenomenal. Can I get a hit? No, I can't. Fine-tuned um, movements with this aircraft are a bit troublesome on occasion. So I, I will admit that um, this plane is not necessarily going to be a fighter. Um, but you can, of course, get five kills like I just did. Let's see if I can get a sixth. Probably not. Put my flaps on. And it's still turning that well. It's just phenomenal. So I at least have an assist. I should have an assist somewhere in here. If Oh, there it is. Got a crit. Got a kill. Look at that. This is one of the best games I've ever played. And you guys are witnessing it. I still have ammunition. And I am... I think I'm out turning this P-47 a little bit with my flaps on. Isn't this something? <laughs> Six kills. Let's see if I can take this guy out, hopefully. Ooh. Okay, got a, a hit on him. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, got, got some crits on him. Hopefully that makes him crash, but I have to go back to base because I got nothing left here six kills one assist a bomb 800 kilogram bomb dropped as well this thing has just been phenomenal we still have some juice left in the tank and by the way i've been flying with about an hour and a half of fuel in the tank <laughs> this thing is just so ridiculous it's only 3.7 b i can't believe it once the hamari 23 comes out man i am so stoked i'm hoping i get that seventh kill I think seven kills might be my max in uh, low BR, but I think I just damaged the aerodynamics on that aircraft rather than the engine itself. So we'll have to wait and see. But probably the only real negative of this aircraft, and it's not really a negative so much, is that you can't equip it with no bomb. So you always have to have a bomb equipped on it, which kind of sucks. Uh, but, you know, of course it is what it is. But they might need me to actually get a few more kills in order to win here. But we'll have to wait and see. So let's go land, and, um, you know, if this, I guess, gameplay skips to another match, then that means that I uh, died before I got another kill in this one. But, you know, even still, 5,000 points almost, 7 kills, or 6 kills, 1 assist. I'm pretty damn happy. That This is why this is one of my favorite planes ever. So as I kind of showed off in the first match, uh, this thing is really good when it comes to anti-air. But, of course, here we are with anti-ground CAS, and I do only have my anti-ground belts uh, attached, so we'll have to wait and see what we could do. But I'm going to dive down on the B-point. Thankfully, again, like I said, this is a pretty nice dive bomber, although I'm not the best dive bomber. But it looks like a pretty decent drop. Let's see if 800 kilograms can get it. And it did! Got two kills. And, of course, an air kill as well for a triple strike. Which, in my opinion, is about all that anyone can really ever ask for. So I might go ahead and... I do see an enemy over here. Looks like he's kind of close to his base. So I'm not going to go chase him. Rather, I will see if there are any lightly armored targets. Because I only have something like 25 millimeters of armor pen at max. And because this is an aircraft, after all, you really have to extend that range to at least 50 or uh, 500 uh, meters, rather, and uh, a good 30 degrees. So more likely than not, I'm only going to be getting like 15 millimeters of armor pen. So you really have to be looking for those extremely lightly armored vehicles or open top vehicles. But that said, let's go ahead and land. But again, I mean, even though it has that nice bomb sight, 
This thing can be a dive bomber. It is fantastic. I'm going to see if I can get back up in the sky, see what we could do, but not too bad for a real quick, uh, you know, I guess, foray into CAS with, again, what I would consider to be one of the most versatile aircraft in War Thunder, regardless of BR. So here we are in Naval, and uh, of course, this is Naval AB. You might be saying to yourselves, Tankenstein, why Naval AB? And you know why? You really want to know why? Quite simple. It's because you can reload your torpedoes, which is fantastic. I love it. It's just so much better, in my opinion, because, you know, it's just really cool. Now, one other thing I do really like doing, and I had to kind of stop myself from doing it here, is um, I really am a huge fan of equipping the 800 kilogram bomb. Okay, this guy clearly knows I'm here. Uh, equipping the 800 kilogram bomb and just going for it, right? Like, with the bomb sights in Naval AB, it is doable and then some. So I'm going to go for this guy, Concentrated Contented Puma. Uh, and also, you have much more relaxed uh, rules, I guess you could say, in, uh, in Naval uh, when it comes to... You know what? Is this guy even moving? Okay, he is not. So, we have ourselves Torpedo, and I hit him in the bow, which is probably the worst place you can hit. But he will be dropping real soon. Let's go ahead and do this. That is a TBF. I should be able to get the uh, drop on him, so to speak, in just a second. He just hit the ground. So, what I'm going to do is come back around. This guy is not playing. I don't really know what he's doing. Perhaps it's a bot, uh, which would be pretty cool for me because that's giving me some gameplay footage. And then I can hit him from the side here once I get my torpedo back in two seconds. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll just drop it there. Hopefully it doesn't hit the... Okay, it got a little bit better of a spot, so that should hopefully count as a kill. But don't look at that as typical. Um, that is very unusual. That guy pretty much just sacrificed himself. I might even drop another torpedo on him. We'll have to wait and see. But typically, like I said, what I like to do, actually, especially, is when it comes down to it, like uh, with the, what was it, the JU-288, I think it is. Um, I really love going high up in the sky and just taking out aircraft or, uh, you know, these planes with those huge bombs. Can I do it? I may, yeah, I may have screwed that one up. I'm not sure. But it doesn't matter. This guy is pretty much just providing me a bunch of free hits for whatever reason. Not sure why this guy isn't fighting back, but hey, it is what it is. Now, these are some really good torpedoes. You have 307 kilograms of explosive filler equivalent, which is, I think, the best when it comes to torpedoes in War Thunder. Uh, he's leaning. No, he's not leaning. I'll just do one more gun run on him. And maybe that'll get something. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter. He's going to die. So let's go ahead and reload my cannons. And, hmm. It's going to be a stupid move, but I'm going to go in for... You know what? What's my range on this? I've got a two... That's it. Two kilometers. Okay. So I'll just go in for this guy. Once I get into range, it should provide me with like a nice little thing telling me more or less where I should aim it and right there this is probably not going to hit I highly doubt it's going to hit but as an experiment it's good also these are some crazy fast torpedoes they go something like 77 kilometers per hour and I just missed them so imperfect but a good uh you know good way to look at it and I did get I still got two hits against that leopard but um oftentimes I'll you know, go up high in the sky and uh, just drop torpedoes on, on some people, or, um, you know, large bombs on people in, in Naval AB, because in my opinion, that's just far more fun. But, I'll come back in for a uh, redo. Hopefully I can do this. You know what? This guy might be even a better target. Eh, yeah, nah, nah. This guy is a better target. And... Three, two, one. Drop it. Got a nice hit right dead center. Very good. Have a mortar torpedo boat there. Do not want to go fight him. Even though I can gun him down with my cannons. 
Uh, that would be nice. Okay, we have an A25 behind me. Or an A20, rather. Put them flappy boys on. And I'll be able to outturn this guy in no time. However, he's just gonna run. So, you know what? I'm sufficiently ticked off now. Going in for the PT-314. Start shooting some cannons at this Mamma Jamma. Didn't get a kill. That's unfortunate. But I destroyed him pretty... Or damaged him pretty damn substantially. Uh, we do have him here. So I'm just going to go hit him with that. And hopefully I can get myself a kill. Got a kill. Okay, this works for me. So a little bit of a bunch of botched drops of torpedoes but a lot of hits just a very weird ab because typically especially when it comes to lighter vehicles when you fire a torpedo and you hit them you get kills uh so i'm, I'm actually genuinely a bit surprised with what happened there but still pretty damn fun because again it just kind of shows off the versatility of it and a lot of the time in higher br matches because it has that 800 kilogram bomb i'll still use the b7a2 and i will just go up three four thousand meters drop the bomb turn around wait for it to reload and keep doing it because that to me is a fun time so i said let's get into another match maybe one more match i'm not sure what we're going to do but thus far yeah this thing is pretty damn versatile Okay, so I decided last match, because I've done air RB, ground RB, naval AB, because, of course, torpedoes. Now let's go do some air AB as the final portion here. We have ourselves a BF-109, but more importantly, this P-51D wants some. I have to go kill him first. Turn up. I'm dead. But, let's see. Can I turn this guy around? I'm still alive, actually. And he's dead. Ha ha ha! I've won! But, I mean, I figured, you know what? Like, I had a really... I mean, like, that match in Air RB. Not my best match, but for whatever reason, maybe it's a sign I should be playing them more. But my best match was with an R1 or R2, Y2, whatever it is, right? The, uh, the twin jet, uh fighter for the Japanese that uh, doesn't really exist and that Gaijin has been threatening to take away. That one I had like seven kills and an assist in, I think. So, for whatever reason, I do real well with Japanese planes. And uh, maybe they just suit me. But uh, either way, you know, not too terrible. Six kills, one assist in that match. And this one I've been having a good amount of fun with as well. Even though my plane is obviously shot to doo-doo. But, I mean, really the whole point of this gameplay is really to show the versatility of this aircraft. And at least in Air AB, I'm showing you how damn versatile this thing is. Even as a, a fighter, I've got more kills than anyone else on my team. I mean, of course, your little pony. Sorry about that. I was just drinking some Dr. Pepper. And some gas came up, but your little pony's doing pretty well. But aside from him, I'm, you know, I'm doing pretty damn well too. So let's go ahead, take out some more enemies. I might even go for these uh, silly boy... Uh, you know what? P-36 wants some. Now I'm going to have to keep dropping my bombs like I've been doing, just that way I can lose the speed. Um, and because they keep regenerating. But we have Wolfgang here. Is this a bot? No. No. Is it? That might... Eh, you know what? That may have been a bot. But I'll count that as a kill. If the game does. Yes, it does. So I've got three kills now. Let's go jump into the the heat of this. And, uh, you know, if I survive this, I'll probably get uh, back up in the air. I'll go land and uh, hopefully get back up. Got a kill. Very... Whoa, my plane just decided to tuck down a little bit. So I'm going to go try to land. See what we could do. Got four kills. Can't complain. We uh, have bots here. Uh, you know, NPCs, rather. Got a kill versus an NPC. Very cool. This thing is just doing anything that it wants. It It's just so fun. It's this... Again, I, I can say as much as I want about this plane, you know, being great and being one of my favorite planes of all time in, in War Thunder, and everything I say about it is true, uh, because it is that good. This plane is ridiculously good, 
And I genuinely have a tough time believing that's 3.7 BR sometimes. Uh, you know, kind of like how the Firecrest is now 2.3 BR, despite, and by the way, I do have a review on the Firecrest, despite the fact that it has M3 machine guns that are uh, ridiculously powerful. So take it as you will, but there are some really odd BRs in War Thunder, and this might be one of them. The B7A2 is ridiculous, and um, I'm, I'll land, see if I can get back up in the air before the match is over. I'm not sure if it'll happen, but, I mean, just acting as a fighter in Air AB did its job. In Ground RB, I act as a fighter, a bomber. Uh, I mean, like, literally, not a fighter-bomber, but as a fighter and as a bomber, because, of course, this does have those real nifty guns or uh, bomb sights. In Ground RB, I was a dive bomber. In Naval AB, I was a torpedo bomber, and it did everything as well as I could ask. Okay, we have some enemies here. We have Your Little Pony, who uh, is still the number one guy in the enemy team. The Waffle Man, but we're going to go for whoever's both closest and at lowest energy, because, of course, that tends to help quite a bit. Also, I do not have, um, I do have stealth rounds, rather. Not, it's not that I don't have something, it's that I do have stealth rounds, which are phenomenal uh, for this. But really, they're just universal belts, but without tracers. So, it looks like I'll probably die here, so I'm just going to try to jump on this uh, P40, P yeah, 51. Got the kill. Can't complain, and I think this is probably about it for this gameplay, being that the match is now over. So, that said, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this gameplay in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about the B7A2 in the comments below. That plane is ridiculously fun. Ridiculously good. And I love it. So either way, thanks again. I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.